I look like a wet rat today. I just had a shower, but I couldn't, I couldn't wait. <laughs> Episode three's just released and I couldn't sit here waiting for my hair to dry. Like, silly things like that. Like, I need to watch the episode. So, hey, you're right, guys. Trophy Munch is Joey, and today we are watching and reacting to episode three of Scam Italia season two. Um, this one's only 22 minutes, it says, so it's the shortest one so far. Um, but that's kind of what we're used to with the original Scam. So, I'm like, I'm in my head, I'm complaining. I'm like, I want. A 40 minute episode where they are, but 20 minutes of the like, typical uh, runtime. So it is sad, but I've missed it, dude. I think I think they're dropping consistently every Saturday morning for me. So because I wasn't sure when like the full episodes would typically be released, but I know uh, they're released on the main website on Monday, but as I get access to it on Saturday, so that's all good. And I'm not going to wait till Monday, so spoilers pop up all over Twitter. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited for this episode. I'm just. Oh, dude. I love it. I, they had, I think, after or before the last episode, they had that little convention thing they did, uh, or a panel that they had, and I, someone sent me a message saying that the audience said they wanted a, a season with Sylvia after they would finish, were finished with season four. If they do a season with Sylvia, I will lose my mind. Like, Greta deserves her own season, so I'm just going to throw my 50 cents in and say... That needs to happen. Um, it's just it's an easy option. Like Greta plays her so well, so just saying. Season five, Sylvia. Uh, episode three, though, guys. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe. And if you do want the full uncut reaction to this episode and every other episode for Scam Italia, uh, then a link to the Patreon page will be down below, which really does help support the channel as well. Also, link down below will be links to Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. If you do want to check out any of those. But for now, my friends, let's go. Remember to follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I post my four favourite shots from every every episode. But I'm going to. And I think I just found my first one already. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Oh, yeah. Explanation time. Oh. Con l'Argentina? Com'è andata? Ah no, lasciala stare l'Argentina. Cioè? Non puoi capire, lascia stare l'Argentina. Gli ha attaccato un pippone sul viaggio in Grecia. No, il lato, sto. Sbaglio? Vero. Siete stronzi, eh? No, siamo stronzi. Siete stronzi. Vai, vai. A little bit, a little bit. I really, I really like all three of these guys. Mi tirare tu. Mani su. E tira io la porta. Oh, we used to do this in school. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ciao. 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 Um, I'm very excited for how they're going to do episode 9. She's not as annoying as the old Emma yet, but... There's still time, because... Wait, would this be the episode with the party bit? If they're going by timeline, it should be. Which they've stuck by so far. Oh, we're doing the quiz. Soon <laughs> for a woman. What's the first? Here we go. So you are not good. Completely heterosexual. I'm hope I hope the quiz helped you. Hope to Emma. I hope the quiz helped you. <laughs> oh, it's Emma. More like Shmamma, no one. <laughs> It's the call of the wild. But anche lei come te pensa che io sia uno stronzo. Strano, vero? Sì, però vedi, io ho dato molti motivi per pensare questo, cioè. Difficile. Difficile. Molto. Dovrò pensarci un po'. Ah, no. Pensaci. Basta che poi non mi dici cose come. Ho silenziato due secondi dopo che mi hanno aggiunto. Dai. Mm. 
Nei. Ce l'hai un microfono bluetooth? No, perché? Serve a Silvia che venerdì alla festa vuole fare il karaoke. Silvia, we're gonna say Silvia the subsidy. We've got to see Silvia the subsidy. Vediamo questa partita o no? Sì, arrivo. Vado. Oh, they can't. They're not like you, but I can't ship them, but she's not as annoying. Ah, uh, iconic shots. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, it's was meant to be like the dance scene. Do you want to dribble anymore? Not that I ever do that when Sylvia is on screen, but it's fine. Da guardare, eh? Infatti. Guarda qua, che budino. Alle sportive piacciono gli uomini in forma. Ma che boccia. Ma che cazzo stai dicendo? Eh, viene qua, la sculetta, ti tocca la pancia. Yeah. Allora, me. Ma quindi. Non ho capito qual è il problema. Il problema? Vabbè, Fred, stai calmo, cioè, sto scherzando. Sì, io sto calmo. Cosa fai? Sapete che sto periodo te lo dai sempre per culo, eh? Che Bene. cazzo stai? Non ti fai Ciao. Oh, shit. Ah, ti stavo cercando, ho dimenticato questa. No! Sì, no! No! Sull'autobus. Sono due, no? Oh, fai. Ok. Ehi, get right. Sto a posto, Luchi? Brave. 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 Some interesting conversations there. Bello, impossibile! This bit's from the trailer. This bit we'll still see Sylvia. Bello! Bello, invincibile! Oh, she was kind of cool, but... Che lo dici? Boh, o mi sottovaluti oppure sei timido. Oh, è vero, sei fucking cool. Beh, allora, come sei? Sei, sei timido? Mei, that was a bit... Jesus! Dai, Elio, andiamo a cantare una canzone. Mm. Elio. Elio, Elio, Elio. Non mi piace Elio. il karaoke. A tutti piace il karaoke. Eh, a me no. Oh, no. di far uscire la tua If you know that's off, most people, you, uh, you know that's off, come on. Wow. Beh, ma per me non c'è problema, io adoro i gay. <laughs> Tutti i gay. Beh, ma certo, sono simpatici, sono divertenti. They're all nice and funny. Ma non ti sembra un po' una generalizzazione? Ok, you ruined it. Ok, here we go, dance sequence. You'll burst into song and dance and, and oh my god. And turns out La La Land. Oh they got to do the um They got to do the thing. There we go. Oh. I love Ava clocking that as well. Pronto mami? Oh. Sì, tutto a posto, sono qui con Fedea. Figa cazzo, 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 prima! cazzo, e tu non gli hai detto della festa? Eh no, gli ho detto che venivate a mangiare una pizza qua tu e tu. <ride> no. Quanto sì, tempo non abbiamo? Non, non, non lo so, sono sulla una mentale. Ok, Silvia, vai di là, trucca di metti in pigiama così non ti schiamano. This is kind of like, um, season 4 Salmas. Ma ci ha fatto un po' di See, usually this episode would end when Nora comes back, but... Ma da quanto state insieme? Da quando abbiamo 16 anni. Però ci conosciamo dalle medie. It was cool with this little band out of thing. In realtà siamo più fratelli che altro. Quali problemi? Non lo sai. Oh, it was just lies. No. Non ti sei accorto di niente quando l'ha salutata? Col bacio sulla guancia. 
E lei si è scritta a medicina in realtà per, per questo motivo, per aiutare la gente come lei. <coughs> che brutta storia. Quando dormiamo insieme è tipo... Cioè, mi sembra che sta con Oppi. Lo Mi stai prendendo per il culo. Ah, il tuo. Ma sei una merda. Troppo <laughs> sgamato. Oh, they should, like, almost kiss here. We get interrupted. There's only 50. Oh. Yo. I'm sure. Someone's gonna interrupt him. Oh, why? Oh, Tim is like, why? Why do this? Wicked. There we go, guys. That is episode three of Scam Italia season two. <sighs> I love it so much. I love it. It's so good. <laughs> um, I am the only. This isn't a negative thing. It's not a gripe. It's just a mention. There are a lot of scenes that are very, very similar to the original with this season. Um, I think the season one did scenes so differently to the original. Um, I'm not saying all the scenes on this. It's, I think what it is is because Scam Italia is so the most different Scam remake that we've had. Uh, when it does a scene that's so similar, it kind of, it doesn't feel right. I don't know, because I'm like, Scam Italian would be doing it like so differently. And obviously they do it with like 95% of the scenes. That's why I'm saying this isn't a negative. I'm not taking down a rating or bashing it for this. It's just funny, like, when one when a scene does come that is similar, it stands out more so because I'm not used to it with Scam Italia. I'm going to finish this tea before it gets cold. It's got that like, one sip there. Mm. So, yeah, so there was once, I think it was just one scene in this, I can't remember exactly which one it was. I, oh yeah, when he was trying to make amends with Emma, and he was like, oh, this girl's angry with me. I think when I was watching that scene, I was like, this is, li this is line for line, exactly like the original. And they had one last episode, and then in episode one they had a scene that was like, line for line, exactly like the original. Um... Like I say, I'm not saying that's a bad thing because there's other scam re well, there's all the other scam remakes uh, um, do more so every episode where they kind of copy the original. And this is the one that is like so different. Like I say, when it does one like that, it kind of stands out. Um, but it's not a negative. Ugh, dude, they have such good chemistry. They, I, I, like, I like these two as well because they feel <laughs> kind of going off what I just said. Um, they feel so different to Isaac, Isaac and Evan. Like, yes, I know they're meant to be, like, the same characters, but they just... Their chemistry is different. Like, they've still got great chemistry, but it feels different. Um, the way they talk to each other, it just all feels different. Um, I don't feel like... I feel like Isaac was a lot more nervous around Evan, especially at the start. He was, like, more awkward, and, you know... You could tell, like, he, he's always trying to find words to, like, start a conversation where I think... Martino feels a lot more like just chilled out about not about the whole situation but just with him he's like he feels more relaxed about it like um he don't feel ner obviously he's probably nervous but he doesn't feel like it is which again isn't a bad thing I'm just saying it, it feels different to the original which I personally think is great um they need to feel like their own characters and they've done a fantastic job of that because they still have such great if they didn't have any chemistry together then it would be like oh, okay that's a bit unfortunate <laughs> but they do like they just straight up do um, oh, dude, I can't wait for some of the scenes later that I'm curious how their, like, version of it's going to be. The big one being, like, the end of episode 9. Um, they need to have that scene in some way. They will They will do it in some way, but that's the only scene where I'm like, I don't see it topping the original. There's been some scenes in season 1 and even season 2 slash kind of 3 here uh, that have been the original, then there's some in the original that just can't be topped. Um, and I feel like season three, episode nine, is one of those where it just, no matter what Scan Italia does, that scene can't be, it's so perfect. It's literally perfect. The, the definition of perfect, if 
the definition of perfect is season three, episode nine of Scam. So, yeah, I don't know. But other than that, I think I love I love the friendship that he has with uh, Giovanni, and I don't know the other two characters' names, but I'm glad they're just in it. Like they're just part of the friendship group. They seem cool enough. Um, yeah, they're not they're not annoying. Whereas with the original, I never connected too much with uh, Isaac's friends other than obviously Jonas. Uh, so where these two seem like they could really grow on me as the season goes on, which I think is, which I think is really cool. Um, I think they're just in more scenes, so it just helps. Whereas the other ones, they weren't in too many. Or they were, and then like in the middle, they just weren't to be seen. From what I can remember anyway, or they're just in like a few seconds of an episode. Um, and then they're back in it at the end. So, yeah, I really like his friendship group. Like, the volleyball scene was decent. Um, I was kind of confused, like, what's going on here? But then I remembered the dance scene uh, from the original. So, a little, little bit different there. We didn't have, like, uh, Isaac slash um, Martino looking at a guy while everyone else looked at girls, which I thought was not missing because, I, th I don't know, they just had him, I guess he was just kind of st 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 sat there, like, bored. He <laughs> was like, okay, cool. Um, and then I really liked the party scene as well. That felt a little bit different in the sense of it was at Sylvia's instead of like uh, Isaac's house. Well, it wasn't Isaac's, it was um, Eskil's house, I guess, or Nora's. And then at the end of the original, Nora comes back to interrupt them from their almost kiss. But here it's just everyone kind of running away from the party, I guess. Uh, which made sense because it wouldn't have made sense if like Eleonora just turned up and because she's been gone for what one episode. I'm curious when she'll come back. But, yeah, her rom her romance hasn't really started yet, which I like. So having Eleonora slash Nora away from the main group for a little bit doesn't bother me too much. Whereas in the original, I was like, yo, we just got off the hype of William and Nora. Where are they at? And then she comes back and she's like, oh, we broke up. And it's just like... Obviously, then we get the amazing moment in season four where William kind of comes out of his car like a badass. But... Yeah, I'll never, I'll never forget doing a reaction to that scene, but here we never started their romance anyway, so I'm not that bothered. Uh, yeah, I think this was probably my not least favorite. Sounds harsh, but I'd say out of the three, it was the weakest. Is a bad word as well because it was still amazing, but I guess because it was twenty minutes as well, whereas the other two were forty, so we have a lot less with this episode. But I still really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna give it an eight point. Hmm. I'll go 8.2 8 .2 out of 10 uh, yeah I wonder how many episodes, there's going to be 10 episodes with this as well don't know if anyone knows that but we'll see and would follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well because I'm going to post my top 4 shots of the episode as well, got a little thread going on I'm, pr I'm proud of it, it's cool, no big deal uh, and yeah, thanks for watching guys leave a like if you enjoyed and if you're new remember to subscribe and I'll be back next week for episode 4, until then Peace.